Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook, the strongest copy of Dragon Ball. Chapter 46. But where was Lin Yan sent to? After Shenron disappeared, Bulma remembered that they just let Lin Yan return to Earth. But it didn't say where it appeared. Since he has already arrived on Earth, he should rush over soon. The fairy said, with Lin Yan's speed, as long as he is on the Earth, it shouldn't take too long to get to the place where Son Goku and the others are fighting. Now that Lin Yan is back, I'll go and see how he handles Frieza's villains. There was a touch of excitement on Bulma's face, he suddenly smiled and said, it seems that at this moment the fear of Frieza has weakened a lot. Forehead. The fairy face is speechless, Lin Yan's appearance, for the earth, I don't know whether it will be a timely help or a worse situation. At this time, Lin Yan was standing on a piece of ice. Frieza and the others really came to Earth, but I didn't expect that Son Goku hasn't become a Super Saiyan yet. Feeling those breaths, Lin Yan whispered to himself. In fact, it is not too much of a surprise that Son Goku has not yet become a Super Saiyan. After all, in this year, he has not been tempered by the edge of life and death. At the same time, there has been no violent rage, and it is expected that he has not become Super Saiyan. Then his body flashed, turned into a stream of light, disappeared into the air, and rushed towards the place where the breath of Son Goku, Frieza and others came from. Although I don't know what they wished with Shenron, but I have no interest in playing anymore. Frieza watched the sky return to daylight and knew they had made their wish with the Dragon Ball. This made him very angry, and he wanted to have fun before killing them. But now, he no longer has that mood. But, who should start this massacre first? Frieza's gaze swept over the faces of Son Goku, Kilin, Son Gohan and Tian Shinhan one by one. Finally, he turned his attention to Klin, the little bald head was the weakest, and when he was in Namek, preventing him from becoming immortal, this little bald head was a big, hero. So it's perfect for him to start first. As for the Saiyan in front of me, let's save it for the last. After all, good things are always more delicious if they are saved until the end. And the moment Klin was pushed on by Frieza, his body backed away subconsciously, and a wave of extreme fear spread from his heart. Why? Dot why is it always me who is being targeted? Keelan yelled helplessly in his heart, could he be so easy to bully? Everyone's first goal will be fixed on themselves. Frieza, your opponent is me. Son Goku saw Frieza's intentions and knew that he was going to attack Klin, so he stepped forward and stood in front of Frieza, shouting angrily. Piccolo has been injured, and he must never watch Keelan fall down again. Adversary. Ho 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 ho, Saiyan, you take yourself too seriously. With your little fighting power, you are worthy to be my opponent of the universe Emperor Frieza. It's really ridiculous. Frieza let out a creepy laugh and laughed disdainfully. The Saiyan in front of him should have a combat power of around 3 million, which is much stronger than his trash men. It can even be compared to the fighting power of his ultimate form in the Namek Ball a year ago. But the current self has been able to perfectly control 100% of the power. So 3 million combat power is not enough in front of him. Frieza, stop looking down on people. Son Goku gritted his teeth. Although he could feel the gap between them, he was still quite unhappy with Frieza's dismissive attitude. Oh, so what if I look down on you? Frieza shrugged indifferently, with an evil smile on his face, and then continued, Not only do I look down on you, but I also want to kill that little bald head in front of you, so what can you do? At the same time as the cold voice fell, Frieza stretched out his left hand, and at this moment, Keelan's body suddenly floated up. It's as if the body is completely imprisoned. Woo. Goku. Keelan felt that his body could not move at all, and felt that the god of death was getting closer and closer to him, and a look of fear instantly appeared on his face. Stop it, Frieza. Son Goku roared out, and with a flash of his body, he directly attacked Frieza. Stop. Ho 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 ho. The moment Frieza let out a gloomy laugh, he shook his left hand hard. Goku. Burst. Keelan's horrified and desperate voice sounded at the same time as the explosion. Then Klin's body was directly pinched and exploded, turning into a little bit of red light, scattered down. Krillin. Krillin. Kling uncle. Three voices sounded at the same time. Who? Just squeezed that little bald head, and Frieza laughed happily. That laughter is as scary as a devil. You actually. Dot you actually killed Keelan, 
I will never, never forgive you. At this moment, Son Goku's whole body was trembling violently because of anger. His eyes were scarlet, and his anger almost made him lose his mind. He actually, actually killed Krillin in front of his face. Frieza, absolutely, absolutely unforgivable. Twitter Twitter. A deep voice came out of Son Goku's throat, his teeth were clenched, his face was full of anger, and the muscles in his whole body were constantly expanding, tightening, and expanding again. Veins squirmed like little snakes on Son Goku's forehead and arms. Brush. But at this moment, a crisp sound of breaking through the air suddenly sounded, and then a figure appeared out of nowhere in everyone's sight. Lin. Lin Yan uncle. When he saw that figure, Son Gohan was the first to react, and said in surprise when he saw the person coming. Didn't Lin Yan uncle go somewhere else? Why did he suddenly return to Earth? That, is that wild monkey. Frieza's complexion changed suddenly, his body staggered uncontrollably, and he pointed at Lin Yan tremblingly, with a look of horror in his eyes. Although he vowed to kill Lin Yan all the way, but when that figure appeared in front of him in a serious manner, a feeling of fear suddenly rose in his heart. It can be seen that although a year has passed and his strength has become stronger, the psychological shadow left by Lin Yan on him has not weakened at all. Being so frightened by a monkey, Frieza, you're a disgrace to our family. Cooler looked at Lin Yan who appeared suddenly, and then at Frieza who looked terrified, and said to Frieza with disdain. Don't be nervous Frieza, even if he is really Super Saiyan, he will definitely not be our father and son's opponent. Kurd also spoke very confidently. In Lin Yan's body, he didn't feel how powerful it was. Huh, finally caught up, it seems that a classic scene will happen next. Lin Yan stood in midair, exhaled, and said lightly, ignoring everyone's gazes. Just now, he felt that Keelan's anger suddenly disappeared. Now Klin was not found beside Sun Gohan and Tian Shinhan, and looking at the furious Sun Goku, it was obvious that Klin had been killed by Frieza. Then next, the enraged Sun Goku might turn into Super Saiyan. You killed Krillin. Sun Goku's face was completely distorted at this time, and he muttered to himself, showing how angry he was. Kreen had told them the other day that he wished to get married once. Now, was actually killed by that fool. Sun Goku, who was furious at this moment, didn't seem to notice Lin Yan's appearance at all. Hum. The next moment, a terrifying breath erupted from Sun Goku's body instantly. The gravel under his feet was blown away directly, and then the whole ground began to tremble, shake slightly. Pieces of gravel were directly blown away by the terrifying aura, shooting in all directions like bullets. Brush. Suddenly, Sun Goku's hair turned golden brown, and his pupils turned light green. But in an instant, it changed back to black again. The scene just now was like a hallucination, which was short-lived. Dad. Dad. Sun Gohan rubbed his eyes, just now he clearly saw that his father's hair has turned into golden yellow, exactly the same as when Lin Yan uncle turned into Super Saiyan. Is this, this aura, is it really Goku's? Well, so powerful. Tian Shinhan was surprised and said tremblingly. There were turbulent waves in his heart, because Sun Goku's anger instantly rose to a very terrifying level. Compared with before, it has almost skyrocketed by dozens of times. Maybe Goku is really going to become the Super Saiyan that Gohan and Kling talk about. The combat power of 3 million becomes 150 million Super Saiyan, which should be able to deal with Frieza. Lin Yan looked at Son Goku below indifferently, and murmured. The previous Son Goku, and Namek's time when Frieza used the power of the ultimate form should be similar. They all have a combat power of around 3 million. After becoming a Super Saiyan, their combat power instantly increases by 50 times. In the current form, it is a certainty that Son Goku will become Super Saiyan. Brother King Cold and Cooler looked at Son Goku with gloomy expressions. Although they couldn't sense the breath, they were also aware that the strength of the Saiyan in front of them began to skyrocket. It soared to the point where they all felt a sense of danger. In contrast, Lin Yan who appeared suddenly was ignored by them. Only Frieza looked at Lin Yan with hatred and horror. Twitter Twitter. An angry low roar continued to emanate from Son Goku's throat. At this time, the veins on Son Goku's forehead and neck were rioting. Ah. The next second, with an angry roar, blue lightning bolts poured down like raindrops and hit the ground. Hum. 
And at the same moment, with a buzzing sound, a streak of gold's arrogance burst out directly from Sun Goku's body. Black's hair instantly turned into gold, and shallow green's pupils exuded a cold and violent aura. Russell. Gold's arrogance was burning like a tumbling flame, while Sun Goku's arrogance was raised to an almost terrifying level at this moment. What? What? Super. Super Saiyan. No. Impossible. Seeing Sun Goku's successful transformation, Frieza shifted his gaze to Sun Goku, his complexion changed drastically, and the look of horror and resentment in his pupils became more intense. This stinky monkey, how can he become a Super Saiyan? When did the legendary Super Saiyan start mass production? What Frieza? Is this, is this Super Saiyan? At the moment he saw the blonde son Goku, Kurd's eyes twitched violently. Although they talked eloquently before that they wanted to kill Super Saiyan, but when a real Super Saiyan stood in front of them, it was still difficult to restrain the panic in their hearts. After all, their ancestor Child used blood lessons to warn future generations not to mess with Saiyan whose hair turned into gold. Aha, uh -huh, Super. Super Saiyan. Daddy has also become a Super Saiyan. Son Gohan shouted excitedly. Yes. Dad really turned into Super Saiyan because Dad is exactly the same as when Lin Yan uncle turned into Super Saiyan. God, oh my God. This, is this the aura of Super Saiyan? It's so powerful that it makes people tremble, shake. Tian Shinhan's body trembled slightly, and he spoke in disbelief. Never thought that Goku, who grew up with them, had such unparalleled power in his body. But, hateful stinky monkey, even if you become Super Saiyan, you will never be my opponent. Frieza's face was very ugly, and a sharp voice roared out. Then he punched Son Goku directly. Boom. But the next moment, Frieza's fist was directly blocked by Son Goku, and then he flexed his fingers and clasped Frieza's fist tightly. He frowned slightly, and as soon as the hand holding Frieza's fist was tightened, a pained expression appeared on Frieza's face. Nah, Nani, how did this wild monkey become so powerful? Frieza was extremely shocked by the instant difference. After all, when Lin Yan and Frieza were fighting, Kaioken was turned on 20 times, and the combat power reached 110 million strength, and then transformed again and defeated Frieza. That kind of strength is a little bit of improvement, not far behind Frieza. But the current son Goku, who had only a few million combat power before, did not expect to be promoted to such a level in a short period of time. It seems that I destroyed planet Vegeta 24 years ago and eliminated those wild monkeys is a very wise choice. But what he didn't expect was that so many wild monkeys survived. Get yourself into so much trouble. Frieza, even if you apologize to me now, I will never forgive you. Son Goku's eyes flickered coldly, and his tone became even colder as he spoke. This actually killed Keelan with a single gesture of his hand, taking indiscriminate killing of innocent people as his pastime. Absolutely can't let him go like this. Who will apologize to such a nasty monkey like you, don't get carried away. Frieza gritted his teeth, and then a terrifying breath erupted from his body. Purple's aura instantly enveloped the bodies of the two of them, forming a series of fierce winds. And Frieza almost exhausted all his strength, trying to retract his fist. Son Goku's hands were like iron vices, tightly gripping his fist. Click. The ground beneath the two of them collapsed in an instant. It seems that Son Goku, who became Super Saiyan, has a combat power of 150 million. Lin Yan looked at Son Goku and Frieza, thinking secretly in his heart. Because the current Frieza can perfectly control 100% of her power after being repaired. Even stronger, probably in the range of 120 million to 150 million. But looking at Frieza's appearance, his combat effectiveness is obviously weaker than Son Goku's. But even if Son Goku can deal with Frieza, there is absolutely no way to defeat their father and son. It seems that when the time comes, I still need my own help. It's just that it's a bit of a loss to go back to Earth this time, because I have almost copied all of their skills. The rest are also useless moves. The only thing that can be seen clearly is the cultivation talents of Frieza and Cooler. After upgrading their copy system, they can copy their talents. In fact, in Dragon Ball Super, Frieza only relied on 4 months to cultivate to the strength comparable to Super Saiyan Blue's Golden Frieza, which is quite outstanding. 
It's just that after copying Brawley's fighting talent and fighting potential, he doesn't seem to have much interest in Frieza's training talent. At this time, Son Goku suddenly let go of Frieza's fist, turned his head to Son Gohan and said lightly, Gohan, Piccolo is still alive, you and Tian Shinhan take Piccolo to Kajinta and get a piece from Kalen Immortal. A fairy bean for Piccolo. But dad, there are three of them. Son Gohan frowned and looked at Frieza, Cooler, and Kurd. Among the three, Frieza was the weakest. Even if his father defeated Frieza, he would definitely not be able to defeat the other two. Even if Lin Yan uncle is added, maybe they are not Frieza's opponent. Piccolo is going to die, the Dragon Ball of the Earth is gone again, do you understand Gohan? Son Goku burst into a drink suddenly. In fact, now he just wants to support Son Gohan and Tian Shinhan. Because the combat power of the two of them is too low, if they stay here all the time, it will be very dangerous for him to fight Frieza later. Besides, there are Frieza's father and Frieza's big brother watching over him. If they attacked Gohan and Tian Shinhan when I was entangled with Frieza, I wouldn't be able to rescue them at all. Well, dad. As soon as son Gohan gritted his teeth, he nodded. Although he wanted to fight side by side with his father very much, he and Tian Shinhan could no longer help in the current battle. Staying here will only become a burden for dad and Lin Yan uncle of. At that time, if Frieza and the others use the two of them to blackmail dad, they will be in trouble. Tian Shinhan also nodded, although very unwilling, but also unwilling to be a burden to Goku, so he nodded and picked up Piccolo and prepared to leave. Ho 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 ho. How could I watch you leave before my eyes? Frieza's sharp laughter sounded again, and his body instantly appeared behind Son Goku. His fingertips pointed directly at Son Gohan and Tian Shinhan, and a purple light emerged. Brush. Almost at the same moment, Son Goku's body also turned into an afterimage, and then appeared in front of Frieza, and squeezed Frieza's hand. The cold voice fell down. Keep your hands on your hands. Trash. Click. Son Goku squeezed Frieza's hand and broke it hard, only to hear a crisp sound. Frieza had a pained expression on his face, and the purple energy ball on his fingertips also disappeared. Cooler looked at Frieza and Son Goku, and knew that with Frieza's proud character, he would definitely not let them help now. But those little ants can help him solve it first. Then Cooler lifted it slightly, pointing his index finger at the backs of Son Gohan and Tian Shinhan. Want to escape? Did I agree? Go to hell. After the sinister voice fell, a purple energy beam appeared on the fingertips, and shot at the two of them directly. Brush. The moment the purple energy beam shot out, Son Gohan and Tian Shinhan felt a strong sense of danger. Then he turned around quickly, and then saw the purple beam, shooting at Son Gohan. Nah, Nani. There was a look of horror in the eyes of the two of them. The energy beam is so fast that there is no chance of dodging at all. Gohan. Son Goku found out what was going on there, but was entangled with Frieza and had no time to rescue Son Gohan and Tian Shinhan. And almost when the energy beam was less than 3 meters away from Sun Gohan, a beam of blue's energy hit Cooler's attack. Boom. In the next second, the two energies collided and exploded directly. The terrifying impact immediately sent Sun Gohan and Tian Shinhan flying. At this time, Lin Yan looked at Cooler indifferently, and said coldly, If you don't want to be killed by me so quickly, you should watch their battle carefully. After just giving Cooler a cold look, Lin Yan folded his hands on his chest again, and looked at Frieza and Son Goku. Trump, meddling stinky monkey. Seeing Lin Yan's proud expression, Cooler gritted his teeth angrily, although his personality is much calmer than Frieza's. But the arrogance and arrogance in his bones seemed to be no weaker than Frieza, how could a Saiyan monkey be so contemptuous? This is absolutely intolerable. Since you like meddling so much, I'll kill you first. Wild monkey. Looking at Lin Yan who was looking at Frieza and Son Goku seriously, Cooler showed a bloodthirsty look on his face. Then with a pinch of the palm, a purple energy ball blasted directly at Lin Yan. Boom. The next moment, purple's energy ball exploded directly from around Lin Yan's body. Lin Yan uncle. Seeing Lin Yan being hit by Cooler's attack, Son Gohan cried out worriedly. Although he knew that Lin Yan uncle had become a super saiyan with terrifying strength, but that guy's attack was also very terrifying. Being hit head on by an energy ball without any precautions, it is impossible to be unscathed. 
Cut, what kind of rubbish Super Saiyan, I thought it was so powerful. Even this kind of attack can't be avoided. With one hit, Cooler's mouth curled into a haughty arc, and he spoke in a disdainful tone. It seems that you are really tired of work, Cooler. And just as Cooler's disdainful voice fell, Lin Yan's faint voice came out from the billowing smoke. Whoosh. Then, there was a crisp sound of breaking through the air, and the billowing smoke was pulled out a long tail, and Lin Yan's body appeared in front of Cooler in an instant. No. Impossible. Seeing Lin Yan who suddenly appeared in front of him, Cooler suddenly turned pale with fright. Because Lin Yan who appeared in front of him didn't show any signs of injury at all. Even his clothes are intact. It feels like you haven't been hit by your own ball of energy at all. And the moment Lin Yan's body appeared, he punched Cooler directly, and the shadow of the punch was as fast as lightning, without giving Cooler any chance to react. Boom. The next moment, Lin Yan's fist landed heavily on Cooler's mouth, and the mouth suddenly collapsed, showing a clear fist mark. At the same time, like a cannonball fired from its chamber, the body smashed to the ground in an oblique and straight line at an extremely fast speed. Rumbling. In an instant, Cooler's body directly smashed into the ground, and a deep pit was smashed out of the hard ground, with spider web light cracks opening at the edge. The whole earth trembled. Wow. Cooler spat out a mouthful of blood, and endless anger and fear intertwined in his eyes for an instant. That hateful stinky monkey is absolutely unforgivable. But at the same time, fear rose in my heart, just one punch made me feel like my internal organs were about to be shattered. Strength flowed from his body little by little, as if it was very strenuous for him to stand up at this moment. Cooler. With a flash, Kurt appeared in front of Cooler. His face was incomparably heavy, and he could completely feel that Saiyan's fist that attacked Cooler just now contained unparalleled strength. That power definitely surpassed any of the three of them. And judging by his calm appearance, maybe he didn't try his best at all. At this time, Kurd actually began to back down in his heart. A dangerous feeling began to linger in my heart. I felt that if they continued to stay here, they might even have to confess their lives here. After Lin Yan seriously injured Cooler with a punch, he did not kill him, but continued to focus on Frieza and Son Goku. At this time, Frieza frowned even more when he saw that Cooler was seriously injured by Lin Yan's punch. It was quite a headache for two Super Saiyans to appear at the same time, but now that nasty stinky monkey has reached such a terrifying level of strength. Able to severely injure Cooler, who is stronger than himself, with one punch. Could it be that his revenge this time is about to fail again? Or, to be killed by that nasty Saiyan again? No, absolutely impossible. Ya ya ya. Frieza let out a sharp roar, and suddenly a burst of purple flames appeared around his body. Break free from Son Goku's shackles. The Saiyan in front of me must be dealt with quickly, when the three of them join forces, no matter how strong that stinky monkey is, it is absolutely impossible to be the opponent of the three of them. With this in mind, two terrifying energy balls condensed in Frieza's palms. Throwing it straight at Son Goku. Boom boom boom. In an instant, the ground around Son Goku's body was instantly blasted into a huge deep pit. Purple's billowing smoke spread from around Son Goku's body. Then I saw Son Goku's body. Although his clothes were torn to pieces, it was obvious that he had not suffered any substantial damage. It's my turn, Frieza. Son Goku's eyes sank, and his body burst out instantly, rushing directly towards Frieza. The shadow of the fist is like the wind, blasting towards Frieza like a machine gun. Frieza's speed is not slow at all, and she even avoided all of Son Goku's attacks. Wild monkey, it's impossible to hit me with this kind of attack. Frieza roared sharply while dodging all of Son Goku's attacks. With a look of madness in his eyes. Cut. Hearing Frieza's voice, Son Goku frowned, and the speed of his fist accelerated again. At this moment, only two black shadows could be seen flickering non-stop in the sky, and the explosion circles flickered one by one. The billowing air waves swept in all directions, driving waves of hurricanes. And at this moment, a buzzing sound came down from the sky suddenly. Hum. Hearing the buzzing sound, Lin Yan looked up and saw a small mini helicopter flying towards them. Bulma, how did she come to a place like this? Lin Yan's eyesight is amazing, so he immediately saw that the person flying the helicopter who appeared suddenly was Bulma. 
This girl is really courageous. It's okay to come to this kind of place. Lin Yan, Goku. Bulma poked his head out of the helicopter, looked at Lin Yan and son Goku, and waved excitedly. But they didn't see Cooler and Kurt who were falling at the bottom of the huge pit at this time. But when he heard the buzzing sound, Kurt had already spotted Bulma, and then he flashed his body and appeared directly in front of the helicopter, grabbing Bulma out. It's like grabbing a life-saving straw. N. Nani. Who are you and what are you going to do? The moment he was caught by Kurd, the excitement on Bulma's face instantly turned into deep fear. Bulma. Son Goku turned his head and saw Bulma caught by Kurd, and cried out in surprise. Bulma got caught, now it's a bit of a problem. But Lin Yan was very calm, but there was indeed a layer of coldness in the depths of his pupils. Almost let the temperature of the whole space drop a bit. Kurd, let her go and I can leave you with a whole body. Then, Lin Yan stepped forward, his tone was very flat, but very cold. Hey hey, let her go. Don't dream, stinky monkey. Kurd laughed wildly, with a sinister look on his face. From the performance of the two Saiyans, he could tell that the woman in his hands should be more important. Unless, unless you commit suicide, I will kill her immediately. Kurd immediately set out his own conditions, as long as this Super Saiyan dies, the remaining one will be nothing at all. Kurd, you're playing with fire. Lin Yan's gaze was a little cold again, and Saiyan's violent air emanated from his body. Kurd suddenly felt a thump in his heart. He clearly had a hostage in his hand, so there was no need to be afraid of him. Lin Yan, save me quickly. At this time, Bulma recovered from the panic, looked at Lin Yan with a face of fear, and asked for help. She originally wanted to see Lin Yan, but she was too excited just now so she didn't see Kurt at all, and she didn't expect to bring trouble to Lin Yan. While I was scared, I was also very guilty. Stinky monkey, I'll count to three, if you. Before Kurt's words fell, the opened mouth suddenly paused. Not only the Kurds, but even Son Goku, Frieza and others are completely still. At this moment, it seems that the entire sky and the earth are completely still. Lin Yan held his breath, and appeared beside Kurd in a flash, pulling Bulma over and hugging him. The palm is aimed at Kurd's mouth. Call. After finishing this series of actions, I took a deep breath. Just when Lin Yan started breathing, time returned to normal again. Nah, Nani. Kurd's opened mouth was still not closed, and a storm arose in his heart instantly. What? What's going on? Shock. Unparalleled shock. What the hell happened just now? Obviously that woman was kidnapped by him just now, and that Saiyan is also dozens of feet away from him. Why did you appear in front of me in an instant and save that woman? Kurd didn't know what happened at all, and he looked dazed. It's not just Kurdish, Son Goku and Frieza are also full of doubts, not knowing what happened just now. That guy is too scary. Son Goku looked at Lin Yan with burning eyes, and said in a low voice. At this time, Lin Yan's breath was very stable, without any sign of disorder. Casting the ability of, time pause, for two or three seconds is not as exhausting as before for him. Kurd, what you did just now is unforgivable. Lin Yan narrowed his eyes slightly, and the anger surged wildly in his pupils. Wait, wait a minute, listen to me, I can give you all my planets, as long as you don't kill me. The father of the well-known universe Emperor Frieza, Kurt of the frozen demon family, was actually full of horror at this moment, begging for mercy in a trembling tone. Because the killing erupted from Lin Yan's body, he felt as if he was summoned by the god of death. He believed that with the strength of the Saiyan in front of him, he could kill him almost instantly. More importantly, my life-saving straw is no longer in my hands. All the planets. Sorry, I'm not interested, I just want your life now. Lin Yan opened his slightly squinted eyes, a icy light flashed out, and a terrifying wave of energy suddenly appeared in his palm. Without any hesitation, it directly hit Kurd's mouth. Boom. The energy wave instantly pierced Kurd's mouth and blasted directly towards Cooler. Boom. The next moment, the gravel and dust on the ground shot up into the sky again. Rolling like a giant wave. And Kurd, whose face was full of horror, slowly fell down, his eyes filled with fear, despair and regret. Why did I follow Frieza to this garbage planet for revenge? Why didn't I listen to my ancestors' warnings and provoke these Super Saiyan? 
But it was obviously too late to regret it at this time, because he felt his vitality draining from his body bit by bit. Dad. Frieza cried out in horror. How? Dot how is it possible? Dad was killed by that guy in an instant. At the same time, a sense of desperation rose from the bottom of my heart. Cooler lost his combat power, his father was instantly killed, and he was left alone. How could he be the opponent of two Super Saiyans? Is he going to die in the hands of that wild monkey again? So decisive to kill, this guy is exactly the same as Vegeta. Son Goku looked at Lin Yan, frowned and said. He didn't give Kurt any chance at all, and killed him directly. And Bulma, who was quietly lying in Lin Yan's arms, didn't seem to feel afraid because of Lin Yan's decisive killing, but looked at Lin Yan with some confusion and fascination, with a strange light in his eyes. It feels so safe in his arms at this moment. Strong strength, handsome appearance, and the feeling that made her feel extremely safe. Isn't this the Prince Charming that she had imagined countless times in her heart? After more than 20 years, finally, have you waited for him? When Bulma looked up again and looked at Lin Yan's handsome silhouette, he couldn't help but blushed, like a red apple. Hurry up and lower your head shyly. And Lin Yan didn't see the change on Bulma's face, but felt her face pressed tightly against his chest, and those two huge lumps of evil just stuck to his waist, which caused a burst of heat in his heart. Boom. Immediately afterwards, Kurd's body fell heavily into the deep pit. After the thick smoke dissipated, the bodies of Kurd and Cooler were lying at the bottom of the pit. Although they were not dead, half of their lives were gone. Seeing the two dying, Lin Yan aimed at Kurt and Cooler with one hand, and a blue energy ball condensed from his palm. But just when Lin Yan was about to make a move, he suddenly felt a very familiar aura. Vegeta, this guy is also on Earth. Lin Yan suddenly looked in the opposite direction, and Vegeta's breath came from that place. It was whispering in a low voice. Just as Lin Yan's voice fell, a pitch black figure jumped out and landed directly in front of Kurt and Cooler. Aha! Uh -huh. He slapped the bodies of Kurt and Cooler. The two who were already dying were completely killed by Vegeta in an instant. Cut! A human headed dog. Lin Yan looked at Vegeta and muttered a sentence. I didn't expect this guy to hide for so long for the head. Even I didn't find out. Judging from Vegeta's attack just now, Although the combat power has not reached 3 million, it should be almost the same. After all, when he was in Namek, his combat power was almost raised to about 1 million. And this guy is very harsh on himself when he cultivates, so it's not very surprising that he can have such a fighting power. Now that Kurt and Cooler are dead let's die. Anyway, his purpose was to kill the two of them. As for who killed them, there is no need to worry so much. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. After killing both Kurt and Cooler suddenly, Vegeta snorted complacently and finally laughed wildly. I actually killed Kurt and Cooler who were stronger than Frieza. How could this make him unhappy? B. Vegeta, stinky monkey. Seeing Vegeta laughing triumphantly, Frieza was completely furious, never thinking that his father and big brother would die in the hands of that trash Vegeta. And what he did was so indecent. Vegeta, those two guys are really the same kind of people. Son Goku looked at Vegeta, then at Lin Yan, and said in a low tone. Both of these two are decisive people, the only difference should be their strength. HMPH, Frieza, is this your father and big brother? You're so weak. After killing the dying Kurt and Cooler in a sneak attack, Vegeta walked towards Frieza step by step. With a soft snort, he mocked Frieza contemptuously. When he was in Namek, Dodoria told him to save his life that the planet Vegeta was not destroyed by collisions with other planets but by Frieza. Although I don't care about these things, I don't even care about his father's life or death. But Frieza's behavior is a great shame for him. And now, killing Frieza's father and big brother with his own hands can be regarded as revenge for planet Vegeta, mainly to wash away the shame that Frieza brought to him. He he he. Vegeta, I didn't expect that even you, an ant that has crawled under my feet for so many years, would dare to laugh at me, Frieza. Frieza suddenly gave a dark smile, that smile was extremely evil, as creepy as a devil. A wild monkey that could easily be strangled to death by itself dared to show off its power in front of him. How could he, the majestic universe emperor Frieza, swallow it? Just as the evil voice fell, the body burst out directly, rushing towards Vegeta. 
Even if you can't deal with the other two stinky monkeys today, you must kill the garbage Vegeta. Let him understand that he will never be able to surpass himself, and will always only be worthy of being trampled under his feet. Frieza, I've seen your movements clearly. Seeing Frieza rushing towards him, Vegeta yelled confidently, his body also burst out, and punched Frieza. Boom. The moment the punches collided, Vegeta's body went straight upside down. It is heavily embedded in the mountain ten feet away. What? What? How did that regain his power? It's terrifying. Vegeta, who was still arrogant a second ago, suddenly looked heavy. With that punch just now, Frieza's strength far surpassed his own, and his entire arm has completely lost consciousness. Of course, in fact, he knew that his strength must not match Frieza. But he also has his own plan in mind. During this year, he summed up the reason why Lin Yan, a low-level Saiyan, can become a Super Saiyan. It was because when he was fighting Frieza, he was almost killed by Frieza who had used 100% of his strength. Hovering on the verge of death, he inspired the potential power of the fighting nation Saiyan, and turned into a Super Saiyan in one fell swoop. And now, I also want to use this method to stimulate the potential power in my body, so as to become a Super Saiyan. Cut, since both of their junior Saiyans can become Super Saiyans, I, Vegeta, the dignified Saiyan Prince, cannot possibly fail to become a Super Saiyan as an elite warrior. Vegeta gritted his teeth and spoke in a low voice. It seems that Vegeta also wants to use the pressure of Frieza's attack to become a Super Saiyan. Lin Yan looked at Vegeta's expression and saw his plan at a glance. Vegeta's combat strength has almost reached 3 million. If the potential has not been developed by the Elder Namek, it has actually reached a limit. If it goes on, it can only become Super Saiyan. In all fairness, Vegeta's talent is really good. After all, he was born with a combat power of 1720 in some places, and other data, let's take it as 100 here. He is known as the genius warrior of planet Vegeta. It's just that in the past 20 years, Frieza has always sent Vegeta to other weak planets to invade, and there is no opponent, so his combat effectiveness has not improved much. It took more than 10 years to increase the combat effectiveness by 3000 points. After the battle between Vegeta and Son Goku, the combat power has increased from 18,000 to 24,000 in just one month. After experiencing the battles of Dodoria, Sabo, Likum and others, it has even increased to a strength of nearly 100,000. In this year's time, it directly reached the terrifying level of 3 million. Although this is inseparable from the fact that Saiyan will improve his combat power every time he recovers from near death. But it is also enough to see his outstanding talent. Die to me, Vegeta. After punching Vegeta, Frieza let out a sharp roar. Then the fingertips pointed directly at Vegeta, and Purple's energy beams bombarded Vegeta one after another. Boom boom boom. Horrific explosions sounded, and the giant peak behind Vegeta was directly shaken into rubble by the terrifying explosion. And Vegeta blocked his front with both arms, his arms were already dripping with blood, and his whole body was covered with large and small scars. The body is constantly retreated by the terrifying energy ball. But, how can I become a Super Saiyan? Vegeta gritted his teeth, suffered so many attacks from Frieza, and there was no trace of turning into Super Saiyan at all. What is going on? If this continues, let alone become Super Saiyan, he may be directly killed by Frieza. And those two fools, Lin Yan and Kakarot, had no intention of helping him at all. Vegeta, this time I will completely solve you. Seeing Vegeta retreating constantly, Frieza raised his fingertips high. Purple's energy ball directly became the size of a stone mill, and then threw it directly at Vegeta without holding back. It's, it's over. Vegeta looked at the huge purple energy ball, his pupils locked instantly. He could feel that the energy ball contained enough energy to kill him. Boom. Purple's huge energy ball directly hit Vegeta's arms, and at that moment, Vegeta's complexion changed dramatically. In front of that energy ball, Vegeta's blocking is no different from blocking a car with a praying arm. There was no blocking effect at all, and the body was directly blasted out along with the energy ball. The battle suit of the whole body has been completely crushed by the powerful pressure, and the naked upper body has been stained red by blood. The blood on the arms is even more frenzied, which is shocking. At this moment, he has almost completely turned into a blood man. 
The pupils disappeared little by little, and turned into Kang White of Longdong, with an incomparably ferocious complexion, and a low voice came out of his throat. I, I am Vegeta, the proudest Saiyan prince, the strongest universe warrior, how can I be surpassed by all of you, I should be the strongest Super Saiyan. Rumbling. The next moment, Purple's energy ball and Vegeta directly landed on the ground where Bazonkai was on. The earth trembled violently, trembling, the terrifying explosion stirred up a circle of powerful shock waves, and huge mushroom clouds soared into the sky. Vulnerable wild monkey. Frieza glanced venomously at the explosion in the distance. After enduring the horrible explosion just now, with Vegeta's strength, it is impossible to survive. Finally, the disgusting traitor Vegeta was completely solved. At this time, Lin Yan looked at the place filled with gunpowder smoke in the distance, and said in a low voice, it seems that Vegeta really succeeded. Because at this moment Lin Yan could feel that after the horrible explosion just now, Vegeta's aura has not disappeared. On the contrary, it is even more powerful. Obviously, at the moment of facing life and death just now, Vegeta stimulated his potential, broke through his limit, and has become a Super Saiyan. I have to admit that this guy Vegeta not only has brains, but also has guts that is admirable. If in the explosion just now, he didn't break through the limit and become Super Saiyan, then he has been blasted to pieces now. And even if he died, no one would use the Dragon Ball to revive him. Fortunately, this gamble, Vegeta won the bet. That guy Vegeta, turned into Super Saiyan too. Son Goku frowned and spoke in a low voice. Lin Yan could feel Vegeta's incomparably powerful aura in that instant, and Son Goku could naturally feel it too. Vegeta's current aura is completely comparable to his own, which means that Vegeta, like himself, has also become a Super Saiyan. However, Son Goku was not too surprised, after all, Vegeta is the Prince of Saiyan, the elite warrior they call. It's up to you next, wild monkey. After finishing Vegeta, Frieza turned his attention to Son Goku. The reason why he didn't point the finger at Lin Yan first was because he felt that that guy was much stronger than the Son Goku in front of him. Although he wanted to admit it very much, he might not be that guy's opponent. Hey Frieza, take a good look, Vegeta hasn't been dealt with yet. Son Goku stared at Frieza, then pointed to the huge pit in the distance, and said in a flat tone. Nah, Nani. Hearing Son Goku's words, Frieza's body trembled slightly, with a look of horror on his face. Could it be that the horrible guy just exploded and didn't kill that guy Vegeta? No. Impossible. Although I couldn't believe it 10,000 times in my heart, my body still jumped up honestly, stopped in midair and looked towards the huge pit. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. And at this moment, Vegeta's incomparably excited laughter suddenly came from the giant pit. The laughter was so excited that it was uncontrollable. Russell. Immediately afterwards, Vegeta's body slowly rose out of the huge pit. Kite the upper body is bare, and the arrogance of gold surrounds the whole body, and the hair that was originally black has turned into golden yellow. There were bloodstains at the corners of his mouth and eyes, but the excitement on his face was very strong. Super Saiyan. Lao Tzu Vegeta has finally become a Super Saiyan. He he he. Slightly clenched his fists, Feeling the incomparable power in his body, the corner of Vegeta's mouth drew a cruel arc. The power of Super Saiyan is so powerful that it is so terrifying. It's such a pleasant feeling. No, impossible, even Vegeta, became a Super Saiyan. Frieza's face was so ugly that it was about to drip ink, she shook her head and spoke in disbelief. A year ago, Vegeta was not even an ant in his eyes, but now he has become a Super Saiyan. That feeling is incomparably suffocating. Go to hell. Smelly monkey. At the same time as the sharp roar sounded, Frieza's fingertips condensed Purple's energy again, and bombarded Vegeta one after another. Cut. Vegeta snorted coldly, his eyes full of disdain. He didn't dodge, evade, or block, and let the energy ball hit him. Rumbling. In an instant, countless energy balls exploded around Vegeta, turning into thick purple smoke. After a few puffs, purple smoke dissipated, and Vegeta's body appeared in everyone's sight. There was still an evil curve on the corner of his mouth, and the gold arrogance around him kept flickering. It seems that Frieza's attack this time did not cause any damage to Vegeta at all. Oh, Universe Emperor Frieza, is this the level of your attack? Immediately, Vegeta began to mock Frieza. 
At this moment, he felt extremely comfortable in his heart, because he had been waiting for this moment for many years. The strength above Frieza, did not expect to be realized so soon. Wild monkey, don't get carried away. Frieza gritted his teeth, his facial features were completely distorted by the extreme anger, and roared hysterically. A mere Vegeta dares to laugh at himself like this. Then he raised his palms high, and Purple's energy ball condensed out again, instantly becoming the size of a basketball court. I'm going to blow you to pieces, wild monkey. After roaring again, he bowed his body, exerted force with both palms, and threw the energy ball raised high directly towards Vegeta. Snort. Looking at the huge purple energy ball, Vegeta snorted disdainfully. Aha. Uh -huh. Then his body flashed, and he kicked the energy ball directly. The huge energy ball was kicked out by Vegeta directly, and landed in the lake in Baizong. Boom. The surface of the lake exploded in an instant, stirring up huge waves. After Vegeta kicked Frieza's energy ball away, his body flew directly towards Frieza. The speed was very fast, almost appearing in front of Frieza in the blink of an eye. Ah da da da, a voice of excitement came out of his throat, and his fists launched a hail of bullets at Frieza like machine guns. The shadow of the fist kept flashing around Frieza's body, and each punch was able to drive fierce energy. At this time, Vegeta's speed and strength had qualitatively changed compared to before. Frieza, is this your strength? It's simply too weak. The more Vegeta fought, the more excited he became, a big smile appeared on the corner of his mouth, and he looked at Frieza's various sarcasms without hesitation. Frieza's teeth were itching with anger, but the current Vegeta's combat power is indeed astonishingly high, and I'm afraid he has already surpassed himself. My current situation is quite bad. Three Super Saiyans, all of whom are stronger than themselves. He never thought that the revenge that was originally planned would turn into this kind of result, and he created two Super Saiyan himself. Aha! Uh -huh. Then, Vegeta punched Frieza's arms, and the terrifying force directly sent Frieza flying. The body smashed heavily into the ground. Flash cannon. After blasting Frieza away with one punch, Vegeta didn't hesitate at all. A terrifying key blast condensed out of his palms, and directly pressed down on Frieza on the ground. Boom. The ground exploded instantly, collapsed layer by layer, and cracked continuously, spreading in all directions like a spider's web. After that, he looked at the dust rising from below with a cold face. Hoo hoo. Heavy panting sounds came from the smoke and dust on the ground. After all the gunpowder smoke dissipated, Frieza's figure appeared in sight. At this moment, Frieza's body was covered with large and small wounds, with Purple's blood stains hanging from the corner of his mouth, and he was panting heavily. Obviously, although he withstood Vegeta's attack, he also suffered from serious physical problems. Because Frieza's chi has begun to drop sharply. That guy Vegeta is really strong. Son Goku raised his head, looked at the proud Vegeta in midair, pursed his lips and said softly. Excitement appeared in his eyes, and he felt the blood in his body start to boil. Every time he meets a strong opponent, he always has this kind of uncontrollable excitement. He was originally interested in fighting Frieza, but now it seems that fighting Vegeta will be more exciting. Frieza, you're done. Vegeta snorted coldly, and his body instantly disappeared into the air. Nah, Nani. Frieza was startled, with a look of horror on her face. At this time, Vegeta had already appeared behind Frieza, with a long arc raised at the corner of his mouth. Then he punched Frieza's back with lightning speed, and directly sent Frieza flying. Super. Flash cannon. A deep roar came from Vegeta's mouth, and he folded his palms together to form a flower shape, and Blue's energy ball appeared between Vegeta's palms. Ha ha ha. Then it went straight to Frieza. And because Frieza's body has endured Vegeta's terrifying attack, there is no way to change direction halfway to avoid it. Ah ah ah. A sharp scream came out of Frieza's throat, and then the body was swallowed directly into Blue's key blast. Frieza's body was like cooking smoke straightened by the wind, and with a scream, his body disappeared into key blast. And at this time, Frieza's anger has completely disappeared. Killing decisively, without delay, this is Vegeta's fighting style. Frieza was wiped out so easily, good Vegeta. Son Goku walked towards Vegeta step by step, with a frenzied desire to fight in his eyes. Obviously the current Vegeta is very strong, 
so he can't help but want to fight Vegeta a few tricks. Go away Kakarot, we'll settle the bill later, I'm more interested in that guy now. Vegeta glanced at Son Goku coldly, said something to Son Goku in a cold tone, and then looked at Lin Yan. Although Kakarot has become a Super Saiyan like him, the fighting power of the two of them should be almost the same now. In contrast, Lin Yan's strength is higher than theirs, so Vegeta naturally wants to compete with Lin Yan, who has a higher fighting power. Oh, looks like that guy Vegeta is trying to trick me. Lin Yan smiled lightly, and said calmly, with a calm and breezy appearance. But just because Vegeta, who has just become a Super Saiyan, wants to fight against himself, it is tantamount to humiliating himself. One hand is enough to defeat him. Or, dot not even using one hand at all ah vegeta son goku scratched his head in embarrassment but speaking of it that guy lin yan is indeed much stronger than himself at least i can't beat frieza's father and big brother casually well vegeta if that's the case then fight me after you fight lin yan son goku smiled and stepped aside he also wanted to watch the battle between vegeta and lin yan and by the way see how strong lin yan is at this time, Lin Yan's body slowly fell to the ground. The arms around Bulma also loosened. Vegeta stepped forward and looked at Lin Yan coldly. Although this guy saved himself twice, he didn't know why he always didn't like him. I always feel so disgusted with him. And that disgusting feeling was even stronger than that guy Kakarot. What's the matter, Vegeta, become Super Saiyan and want to challenge me? Lin Yan walked up to Vegeta step by step and said with a smile on his face. TCH, although you were indeed stronger than me before, but now I have also become a Super Saiyan, it is not certain who is stronger and who is weaker. Vegeta snorted coldly, looked at Lin Yan and said. It's also Super Saiyan, he doesn't believe how strong Lin Yan can be. It seems that you are indeed a little overconfident, so let me let you know that there are strengths and weaknesses in Super Saiyan. Lin Yan's expression is still as calm as water. Now, after copying Brawly's talent, even if he is normal, it is very easy to defeat Vegeta who has just become Super Saiyan. Vegeta frowned tightly. This guy's strategizing posture and expression really made people uncomfortable. Then I'll show you the power of my Super Vegeta, quickly become a Super Saiyan. Vegeta couldn't wait to show Lin Yan his incomparable combat power, pointing at Lin Yan and said in a cold voice. Super Saiyan, you don't have to be a Super Saiyan to deal with you. Although Lin Yan's tone is still flat, it's not hard to hear the frivolous and disdainful tone. But, hateful thing, dare to look down on me Super Vegeta. Vegeta clenched his fist tightly, furious instantly. That guy must not know how terrifying it is to become a Super Saiyan himself. That Lin Yan guy wants to fight Vegeta without changing Super Saiyan. Son Goku was taken aback. After turning into Super Saiyan, his combat power increased 50 times almost instantly. Lin Yan should be very clear about this matter. No matter how strong he is, there should be no way to deal with Vegeta without becoming a Super Saiyan. Is that guy really capable of beating Vegeta on a regular basis, or is he just putting on airs? Rationally, it is impossible to fight Super Saiyan whose strength has increased 50 times, but that guy Lin Yan seems to have a well thought out plan. It doesn't seem like you're putting on airs, playing tricks. Come on Vegeta, let me see how powerful your Super Vegeta is. Lin Yan waved at Vegeta and said jokingly. After becoming Super Saiyan, Vegeta must think that he is invincible now. We must let him know that there is a sky beyond the sky, and there are people in the sky, otherwise, with his arrogant character, he will be complacent without an opponent. By the way, let Son Goku next to him see that Saiyan's power is not just as simple as Super Saiyan. Crazy fool, let me Super Vegeta punch you. Vegeta roared, his body flashed out instantly, and directly attacked Lin Yan. Aha, uh -huh. Vegeta's speed is also quite fast. Of course, this is only for ordinary people. In Lin Yan's opinion, it is only a little faster than a snail. Vegeta's fist appeared in front of Lin Yan in an instant only 10 centimeters away from Lin Yan's mouth. The corner of Vegeta's mouth curled up in a triumphant arc. In his opinion, it was impossible for Lin Yan to avoid such a short distance. And judging by his appearance, he was simply overwhelmed by his own speed, and he didn't react at all. Lin Yan, you lost. Vegeta roared excitedly, 
His fist was only 10 centimeters away from him, and it was impossible for him to avoid it. It seemed that at this moment, he had already seen the scene where Lin Yan was blown away by his own punch, and he couldn't help feeling refreshed when he thought of this. The strongest Super Saiyan is really only King Vegeta. What's going on? That Lin Yan guy still doesn't dodge. Son Goku was also shocked by Lin Yan's actions. I don't know whether he was confident, or he was really overwhelmed by Vegeta's fierce attack, and forgot to dodge for a while. This kind of distance, if it were me, it would be impossible to avoid it. Under the complacent and shocked gazes of Vegeta and Son Goku, Lin Yan withdrew his right foot slightly and turned his body slightly. The whole person is like a loach, and when Vegeta's fist was only one centimeter away from Lin Yan's mouth, it was dodged by the side of his body. Vegeta's fist didn't even touch Lin Yan's clothes. Nah, Nani. Vegeta's pupils constricted in an instant, and the smug expression just now was instantly covered by a deep shock. At such a close distance, how could that escape his fist? No, impossible, this is absolutely impossible. And he didn't turn into Super Saiyan at all, how could he have such a fast dodging speed? Coincidence, it must be a coincidence. After being deeply shocked, Vegeta could only regard Lin Yan's evasion just now as a coincidence. But when Vegeta was about to attack again, Lin Yan directly raised his right knee and pressed it against Vegeta's lower abdomen. Wow! A ferocious look appeared on Vegeta's face instantly, and the severe pain came from his lower abdomen, causing his pupils to constrict uncontrollably. Spit out the filthy stuff in his belly. That knee strike made him feel as if he had been hit by a locomotive, and a gust of wind shook his stomach. The whole body bows like a cooked prawn. Then Lin Yan raised his right hand and lightly patted Vegeta on the back. Snapped. Although it looked very light, Vegeta's body hit the ground heavily like a comet falling. Rumbling. Vegeta's body directly smashed the ground into a huge pit. After a few puffs, the smoke dissipated, and Vegeta's body was lying on the bottom of the pit, with both fists on the ground. But at this time, Vegeta's hair has turned into black and the gold arrogance around him has disappeared, and he has withdrawn from the Super Saiyan form. Because of the severe pain and anger, his face became very ugly, and his whole face was almost twisted into a ball. But, Vegeta hit the ground with a heavy punch, and the ground cracked instantly. Obviously I have become a Super Saiyan, how could I be as weak as a child in front of that guy? I, Vegeta, should be the strongest Super Saiyan. Not only Vegeta, but also Son Goku's eyes were full of horror. Unbelievably, he opened his mouth wide, and was able to deal with Frieza's Super Saiyan Vegeta in a very short time, but he was dealt with in two easy moves like that. Is that Lin Yan guy really strong enough to be almost terrifying? However, the shock was shocking, but the desire to fight in my heart became commotion again. The blood in the body is constantly tumbling. He is very clear that he cannot be Lin Yan's opponent now, because his strength is almost the same as Vegeta's, even if he is higher, he will not be much higher. Since Lin Yan can defeat Vegeta in an instant, he also has the ability to defeat his own strength in an instant. However, this does not affect his desire to fight Lin Yan, maybe this is the blood of the fighting nation Saiyan in his body at work. He must experience for himself how terrifying Lin Yan's strength is. After thinking about it, the excited face walked towards Lin Yan step by step. It didn't stop until it was less than 2 meters away from Lin Yan. You want to challenge me too. Son Goku, hereafter referred to as Son Goku. Looking at the excited Son Goku, Lin Yan said lightly. He knows that Son Goku is a fighting maniac, the stronger the opponent, the more he can arouse his desire to fight. Let him feel unparalleled excitement. Ah! Even though I know it's not your opponent, I still want to experience how strong it is to instantly defeat Vegeta. Son Goku still had an excited look on his face, nodded and said. Then come on. Lin Yan didn't refuse either, but nodded. Feel the gap between yourself and yourself, it should be able to stimulate Son Goku's potential even more. After all, I can't just become stronger by myself. In the days to come, Son Goku and Vegeta will also be a powerful fighting force for the entire seventh universe. When they are not on the earth, they can also protect the earth. Hey, it's really exciting. Son Goku spread his feet apart, his center of gravity sank slightly, and his hands were clawed, making his most classic fighting posture. 
And Lin Yan still had a relaxed expression on his face, and he didn't make any defensive posture at all. Then, I attacked, huh? The next moment, Sun Goku kicked his feet on the ground, and the ground exploded directly, and his body shot out like an arrow from the string. The clenched fist hit Lin Yan. Looking at Sun Goku's menacing fist, Lin Yan showed no signs of panic at all, and his body was even more motionless. Perhaps in the eyes of ordinary people, Sun Goku's speed is too fast to be seen with the naked eye, but in Lin Yan's view, Sun Goku's speed is actually quite slow. Even when the fist was only 5 centimeters away from him, it was still easy for him to dodge it. Seeing that Sun Goku's fist was about to land on his chest, Lin Yan dodged it easily with a flash of his body. It's just that at the moment Lin Yan dodged, Sun Goku suddenly stopped his attacking fist, and his body appeared behind Lin Yan in a flash. He kicked Lin Yan in the middle and swept over. The combat experience is indeed richer than Vegeta's. Seeing Sun Goku's sudden attack, Lin Yan praised secretly in his heart. If it is an ordinary opponent, it is really possible to be deceived by Sun Goku's tricks. It's just that in front of Lin Yan, the difference in strength between the two is too great. Therefore, this opportunistic fighting method has no substantial effect. Brush. Sun Goku's leg directly carried the momentum of piercing through the air, kicked Lin Yan's waist, and directly penetrated through it. Nani. After image. Sun Goku reacted instantly. But it wasn't too unexpected. If Lin Yan was deceived by his own trick, he would be surprised. At this time, Lin Yan's body had already appeared behind Sun Goku. His palm was directly aimed at Sun Goku's back, and an energy ball condensed out. But it didn't blast out. A strong sense of danger rose from his heart in an instant, and his body didn't even need to look back to know that Lin Yan appeared behind him. Sun Goku didn't turn his head back, he jumped forward quickly, and after landing three feet away, he turned his head quickly. Good, so fast. Sun Goku was terrified, he didn't realize how Lin Yan appeared behind him just now. Just like a ghost, he was very clear in his heart that Lin Yan obviously didn't mean to attack him just now, if it was not a simple contest but a fight to the death, he would definitely be a cold corpse now. He has no doubts about this. Are you still coming? Lin Yan slowly withdrew his palm, and the energy ball in his palm dissipated completely, looking at Sun Goku and asking. Well, come again. Sun Goku fixed his gaze, and said with a smile. Anyway. Lin Yan will not kill himself, every time he fights with him, he can develop his own shortcomings. This is more conducive to the improvement of your own strength. After the voice fell, Sun Goku's body flashed out again. The shadow of the fist was like the wind, and it attacked Lin Yan like a torrential rain. Da da da. Accompanied by a deep roar, Sun Goku's fists kept darting around Lin Yan's body, sending out hundreds of punches in an instant, but none of them could touch Lin Yan's body. Without even moving his footsteps, he dodged all of Sun Goku's attacks. Unexpectedly. Dot you can't even hit a punch. The faster Sun Goku played, the more shocked he became in his heart. This guy is really too terrifying. There is no need to shoot at all, and it is impossible for him to defeat him. Okay, today's game ends here. A faint voice suddenly spit out from Lin Yan's mouth, and then he pointed at Sun Goku directly, and met Sun Goku's fist. Boom. A low, muffled sound came out, and Sun Goku's charged attack was actually blocked. And it was blocked with just one finger. If Lin Yan turned into Super Saiyan, he would not be too shocked if he lowered his fist with one finger. Because after all this guy turned into Super Saiyan a year ago. Now he must be even more terrifying. But now he didn't become Super Saiyan, but took his fist with one finger just relying on normality, which made him feel a bit unbelievable. Well, although I am very unwilling, it is impossible to hit you if I continue to fight. Sun Goku withdrew his fist, although he was a little regretful, but there was still a little excitement on his face. Because Lin Yan let him know that the power of Saiyan is not just as simple as Super Saiyan. There is still a lot of room for improvement. In myself, I must work hard to catch up with Lin Yan's footsteps, and see where Saiyan's limit is. Call. After retracting his fist, Sun Goku exhaled lightly and returned to normal. Okay, so amazing, neither Goku nor Vegeta is his opponent. Bulma looked at Lin Yan with admiration, his big watery eyes sparkling. 
Originally he thought that Goku was the strongest in the world, and then Vegeta appeared who defeated Goku. Then came the super powerful monster Frieza, but was killed by Vegeta in the end. But even so, Vegeta was settled after a few chats with Lin Yan. It's really amazing. From Son Goku's eyes, Lin Yan saw the look of admiration. It seems that the battle just now gave him some preliminary understanding of his own strength. But what Son Goku and Vegeta don't know is that the power they just displayed is just the tip of the iceberg. If they show their full strength, I believe they will be so surprised that their mouths will drop to the ground. Of course, the strong desire to fight in Son Goku's eyes has not weakened at all, and has even become stronger. Your strength is indeed stronger than me and Vegeta too much, we are not your opponents, but sooner or later I will reach your level, or even surpass your level, hee <laughs> hee. Son Goku clenched his fist and said a little excitedly. Cut. Vegeta turned his head away, not wanting to see these two guys that he hated. Then you guys, come on. Lin Yan shrugged, other than that, he couldn't think of how to respond to Son Goku's words. Because of their own strength, even if they stand still, it will take them several years to catch up with them. And with his current talent for cultivation, how could he keep standing still? So the two of them want to surpass themselves, which is tantamount to nonsense. And at this time, after all the battles were over, Bulma came to Lin Yan's side, a blush appeared on his face, and he said coquettishly, that. I'm sorry Lin Yan, the situation was urgent before, and I didn't go through it. Your consent allows Shenron to summon you to Earth. I don't know why, I obviously don't have such a personality on weekdays, how could I become a shy little woman in front of Lin Yan in an instant? It doesn't matter, if I don't want to come back, Shenron has no ability to teleport me to Earth. Lin Yan smiled shallowly, looked at Bulma and said. In the previous month, he originally planned to go to the planet Udelet to learn the instant transmission ability, but after leaving the planet Wampa, he realized that he wanted to find the planet Udelet in the vast universe, and not an easy task. So after half a month wandering around on an inferior planet, Shenron happened to be summoned to Earth. Then do you want to leave now? Suddenly, a look of hope appeared in Bulma's eyes, and after Lin Yan's voice fell, he hurriedly asked. Then look forward to Lin Yan's answer. Well, I have to leave Earth for a while now. Lin Yan nodded and spoke. The Frieza father and son have been eliminated, and in the next three years, there will be no strong opponents on Earth. This is not a good thing for me, and the comfortable life will not allow me to make further breakthroughs in my strength. So now I have to fight with stronger opponents, so that my strength can be improved faster. And in the previous month, he had been thinking about this question. On the current earth, even if the artificial man appears three years later and the cell becomes a perfect body, it is absolutely impossible to be his opponent. So he set his sights on other universes and other time and space. And his idea is that the sixth universe, which is closest to the seventh universe, also has the time and space of, Dragon Balked. Whether it's hit from the sixth universe, or Super 4 Sun Goku from GT Time and Space, or Super Omega Shenron and others, they will be your best choice now. But at this time, he was also in a bit of a dilemma. It was not an easy task to go to these two places. First, he doesn't even know where the sixth universe is now, and even if he knows, it will definitely take a long time for ordinary universe spaceships to reach it. Second, with the current level of technology, Bulma and Dr. Breves want to build a universe spaceship, which is not realistic at present. This is also something that makes him very embarrassed now. Then, are you, are you going to leave now? The look of hope on Bulma's face disappeared, and he spoke with some disappointment. I didn't expect to see Lin Yan for such a short time just now, and he was about to leave, so I felt a little disappointed. Bulma also knew in her heart that she seemed to really like the one in front of her. She had only seen it a few times, and had only known her for more than a year. Because in the past year, the scene of Namek crying in Lin Yan's arms, as well as his gentle eyes and comforting words, have been lingering in my heart, lingering. And the sense of security he felt when he rescued himself from that villain just now made his affection even stronger. No, it may take a while, because I need your help. Lin Yan looked at Bulma with a slightly disappointed face, and said softly. At this time, Bulma was a little bit lost, a little bit shy, and seemed to have a charming feeling, which touched Lin Yan's heart. 
When we first met, Bulma was beautiful and amazing in his eyes, but now, that feeling seems to have begun to change. Real. After hearing Lin Yan's words, Bulma suddenly looked up and asked excitedly. The disappointment on his face disappeared in an instant. Hem. Really? Lin Yan nodded and said seriously. If I want to go to the sixth universe and the time and space of Dragon Balked, I really need the help of Bulma, a mechanical genius, now. And during this time, he can also develop a good relationship with Bulma. Anyway, he could also see that Bulma seemed to have secretly developed feelings for him a long time ago. Hey Bulma, why are you feeling a little weird today? Son Goku looked at Bulma with an excited expression, she had rarely seemed so excited before. And the posture of the little woman just now is completely different from the Bulma I knew before. W.H., no, Goku, don't talk nonsense. After being told by Son Goku, Bulma's face became even more flushed, red. Jout Didi looks like a ripe red apple. Cut, it's an uncomfortable feeling. Vegeta glanced at Lin Yan and Son Goku, snorted coldly, and then disappeared into the air in a flash. I always feel that being with these two guys makes him very unhappy. After going back, my strength has improved again, so I must take good care of these two annoying guys. After Vegeta left, Son Goku also left, and now he is more worried about how Piccolo is doing and whether he has recovered. Lin Yan took Bulma back to Bulma's home. Now that I think about it, although I am very strong and I don't have many opponents in the entire seventh universe, but I don't even have my own house, which is really sad enough. But fortunately, he will not be polite to his father-in-law's things in the future. At Lin Yan's current speed, he arrived at Bulma's house in just three minutes, and this is because he considered that Bulma didn't fly too fast. You just said that you need my help, what is it? After waiting home, Bulma asked directly. He knew that Lin Yan's request for her help must have something to do with the mechanical problems of the universe spacecraft. Because of other things, I couldn't help myself. I need a time machine, can you make it now? Lin Yan said straight to the point. After thinking about it, he still chose to go to the time and space of Dragon Balked. When he arrived at that time and space, he should also be able to become Super Saiyan 4. At that time, his own strength will inevitably skyrocket, so even if Gods of Destruction Beerus arrives on Earth, he will have nothing to do with him. Maybe the me at that time could fight against Angel. It's just that these are all my own fantasies now, because, Dragon Balked, is not the same time and space as the present after all, and I don't know if the time machine can return to that time and space. Time machine. Bulma was taken aback, he had never heard of such a thing didn't even think about it. That's right, it's a time machine that can travel through time and space. Lin Yan explained seriously again. Hearing Lin Yan's determined tone, Bulma frowned slightly, shook her head slowly, and said, no, I don't have that ability at all now, and even if I understand it, the current level of technology is not up to the ability to travel through time and space. To that extent, Bulma's answer was very direct, because she had never touched this kind of thing, so she couldn't do it at all. Even her father, Dr. Breves, may not be able to develop a machine that can travel through time and space. That thing is a bit too far away for them now. Is that really the case? Lin Yan frowned, and said a little discouraged. In, Dragon Ball Super, Bulma thought about making a time machine and the energy of the time machine but it was only because of the blueprint of the future Bulma that she was able to make it finally destroyed by Beerus. Without any prompts, there is really no way to complete the production of the time machine. From this point of view, the time and space of Dragon Balked is temporarily unable to go. Then he has no other choice, and that is to go to the sixth universe. Presumably by fighting that guy hit, one's own strength will also be qualitatively improved. Sorry. I really can't do anything about this. Looking at the discouraged Lin Yan, Bulma said apologetically. It's okay, I'm just asking casually. Lin Yan spread his hands indifferently and said. After all, I don't have to go to the Dragon Balked time and space now, and even if I create a time machine, I may not be able to reach that time and space. Bulma, didn't you bring back Nappa's universe spaceship? Lin Yan looked at Bulma and asked suddenly. Since I can only go to the sixth universe now, I can only use the universe spaceship without learning instant transmission. 
It's just that my spaceship has been left behind on the Wampa planet, so I can only use the universe spaceship that Nappa took when he arrived on Earth. Oh, yes. Bulma nodded and said. Then can you help me increase its speed to the fastest? I need the fastest spaceship in the universe. Lin Yan asked urgently. In his heart, he suddenly thought of a feasible solution. Although I don't know the exact location of the sixth universe now, and the distance is quite far away, there must be someone who knows. And he's sure to be able to carry himself to the sixth universe. As long as he finds that guy, it's equivalent to finding the sixth universe. That's fine, but are you going somewhere far away? Bulma nodded, and then asked again, in fact, she already knew the answer in Lin Yan's words, and now she just wanted to confirm it. Yes, a very far away place. There is indeed a very long distance between the 6th universe and the 7th universe. It's just that Lin Yan didn't tell Bulma about the 6th universe, because even if he told her now, he probably didn't understand it very well, so he simply told her that it was a very far away place. Then, dot how long will you be going? Bulma asked again, everything before was just foreshadowing, and this sentence is what she wants to ask the most. How long will Lin Yan go to that distant place? When can I see him again? Three years. Up to three years. Lin Yan said with a serious expression. Three years later, when I come back. Three years later, he must come back, for the sake of infinite energy, and also for the first beauty of the Dragon Ball to create human number 18. As a time traveler, he didn't want a flower to be planted on the head of this little bald guy like Keelan. Of course. I don't dislike Keelan, and sometimes I even like him better. It's just that I simply feel that Keelan is a bit incompatible with no. 18. Hearing Lin Yan's words, Bulma was startled, but nodded. Um, she also understood what Lin Yan meant by waiting for him for three years. Okay, the rest of the time will be hard on you, Bulma. Lin Yan patted Bulma's shoulder and said. In the days that followed, Bulma and Dr. Breves started to help Lin Yan transform the universe spaceship again. Fortunately, the two were still very enthusiastic about the mechanical aspect, otherwise, to be honest, I would feel a little guilty. Of course, Lin Yan didn't ask Bulma to help transform the universe spaceship all day long, but in the rest of the time, he would take Bulma to eat, go shopping and so on. The relationship between the two has also become more intimate in a subtle way, and basically they are just short of the final touch. In this way, time passed day by day, and a month passed quickly. During this month, Sun Goku and Sun Gohan went to the Namek Ball again, and used Namek's Shenron Palenga to resurrect Kling who was killed by Frieza. And Lin Yan's universe spaceship has also been remodeled, equipped with the most advanced engine installations and stored spare energy. Just when Lin Yan was about to leave, Sun Goku, Sun Gohan and others also came to see him off. Lin Yan also has some things that he wants to tell them. What? Artificial man. After hearing Lin Yan's words, Sun Goku, Sun Gohan, and Keelan were puzzled. According to Lin Yan, three years later, there will be five artificial humans on the earth, and their strength is very powerful. Even Super Saiyan Sun Goku may not necessarily be their opponent. Are they from the universe? Sun Goku frowned and asked in a deep voice. He basically didn't have any doubts about Lin Yan's words now. Since he said so, he would definitely not use this kind of thing to deceive them. No. They were all made by Dr. Zhe Luo of the former Red Silk Army. Some are pure robots, and two are transformed by humans. Sun Goku opened his mouth to explain. Robots no. 16, number 19 and Dr. Zhe Luo himself are purely machine transformations. As for number 17 and number 18, they were transformed on the basis of human beings. What? Dr. Luo Bo of the Red Silk Army, he can actually create an artificial human comparable to Super Saiyan. Everyone was full of astonishment. You must know that Super Saiyan is an existence that can kill even the universe Emperor Frieza. Unexpectedly, Dr. Zhe Luo, a scientist on the Earth, could create such a terrifying artificial human. It does make them a little weird. Such a strong opponent, it's still a bit exciting to think about it. Sun Goku clenched his fist, and his face showed excitement. But at that time, whether you can participate in the battle is still unknown. Looking at the excited Sun Goku, Lin Yan said. Because in, Dragon Ball, 
Son Goku has already suffered from chronic heart disease, and the virus will break out completely in three years. In the future time and space of Trunks, Son Goku died directly before the artificial man appeared because there is no special medicine. Of. Oh. Didn't take part in the battle of the cyborgs. It's just that this time and space, probably because of my own appearance, disrupted the order of time and space, resulting in Trunks not appearing until now. Did not bring special medicine to the present Son Goku. Ah, I may not be able to participate in the battle with artificial humans, why? Son Goku asked in puzzlement. Because you are suffering from chronic heart disease now, and it will break out completely in three years. If there is no special medicine to resist heart disease at that time, you will die. Lin Yan didn't hide anything, and spoke directly and truthfully. Anyway, there is nothing to hide. If you don't tell me and Trunks doesn't appear in the future, Son Goku will really be hopeless if he finds out too late. Ah, no way. I'm actually a bit unwilling to die from a heart attack. Son Goku clenched his fists tightly, and he didn't seem to be worried about dying, but instead felt unwilling because he couldn't fight against the artificial man. Not to mention Son Goku, even Bulma, Son Gohan, Kilin and others on the side all looked dumbfounded. With Son Goku's physical fitness, how could he have a chronic heart disease? It's simply impossible. Lin Yan uncle, you, are you telling the truth? Will dad really die of a heart attack? Son Gohan asked with a worried face, frowning. Although Saiyan's body is very strong, he still can't resist the virus attack, but you don't have to worry too much. Maybe three years later, a special drug for heart disease has been developed. Lin Yan can only explain it this way, but he is thinking in his heart that people from the future time and space will appear and bring special medicine to Son Goku. As for the artificial man, there is no need to worry at all, because after three years, I will definitely return to the earth, and there is no need for Son Goku and the others to resist the artificial man. But even though Lin Yan said so, it still made everyone panic. If there is no special medicine developed by then, wouldn't Son Goku be sure to die? Also, try not to use Kaioken in the future. Although this skill can double your strength in an instant, it also puts a heavy burden on your body, especially your heart, which will speed up the spread of your heart disease virus. Speed. Finally, Lin Yan reminded Son Goku again. Well, no matter what, thank you for your reminder. I will definitely participate in the battle of artificial humans in three years' time. Son Goku squeezed his fist and said to Lin Yan with firm eyes. No matter what, I will persist until the artificial humans appear and fight them. Then, I'll go first, take care of Bulma. Lin Yan walked in front of Bulma, put his hands on Bulma's shoulders, and said softly. Wait for me to come back, three years, just three years. Well, I'll wait for you. Bulma's eyes sparkled, and he nodded heavily, with a look of reluctance. After bidding farewell to Bulma, Lin Yan didn't stay any longer set foot on the spaceship of universe, and started the journey to the sixth universe. But before that, he had to go to another place. Planet Del 8, learn their instant transmission ability. Then Lin Yan set off on the universe spaceship, leaving only Bulma and Son Goku in place. Three years later, artificial humans. This is too funny. How could Lin Yan know what will happen three years later? After Lin Yan left completely, Keelan spoke to the three of Son Goku in disbelief. He didn't believe that Lin Yan had the ability to be a prophet, but he couldn't ask directly just now. He could only speak to Son Goku with a suspicious tone at this time. Who would have expected what would happen three years later? Ah, it is indeed a bit unbelievable. Son Goku also nodded, why didn't he doubt what Lin Yan said? But I can see from his eyes that he didn't tell lies, and he doesn't need to use this kind of thing to lie to us. It doesn't do him any good to lie to us. Then Son Goku explained again. With Lin Yan's strength, there is no need to deceive them with this kind of thing. As he said, Kaioken will indeed place a great burden on the human body, especially the heart, so the chronic heart disease he mentioned is not groundless. And he always felt that this guy Lin Yan was a bit strange, too strong and a little too outrageous, with a, very mysterious feeling. It was as if everything was in his expectation. I believe that Lin Yan is not the kind of person who talks about it. Bulma also hurriedly opened her mouth to excuse Lin Yan, but she was not acting out of emotion, 
but after getting in touch with Lin Yan this month, she believed that Lin Yan was definitely not the kind of person who would deceive them. And he doesn't have to. Lin Yan uncle, although I don't believe that dad will die of a heart attack, but I also think that Lin Yan uncle did not lie to us. At this time, Sun Gohan also opened his mouth and said to Keelan. Ah, I didn't say that Lin Yan lied to us, I just think this thing is a bit too incredible, haha. <laughs> Seeing that the three of them chose to believe Lin Yan's words, Keelan could only scratch his bald head and smile awkwardly. After all, Lin Yan saved them many times, since everyone said so, it would be a bit too much for him to doubt him again. Well, regardless of whether artificial humans will appear in three years or not, we have to practice hard and see that guy next time. I don't want to be left too far behind by him. There was a gleam in Sun Goku's eyes, and he was really looking forward to the return of the artificial man and Lin Yan who appeared three years later. Uh huh. Sun Gohan and Keelan also nodded heavily. In this Frieza incident, they did not help any, and even became a burden to Goku and the others. But next time, they must practice hard and strive to help them. Then Sun Goku and Sun Gohan returned home, and Klin returned to the Guixian house. After Bulma looked at the direction Lin Yan left, he also went back. In this way, time passed day after day. The Sixth Universe. At this time, on the planet Sharada in the Sixth Universe, that is the planet where all the Saiyans gather. Captain Gabe, what should we do now? I didn't expect this evil guy to defeat all the members of our Lhasa Defense Army. Even Khalifla and Kale have already been defeated. The one who spoke was a big, big guy with jet black hair who also looked like a Saiyan. He said with a heavy face. And in front of him, stood a boy with the appearance of a child, about 15 or 16 years old, with a frail figure, black's hair stood up high, and a bunch of bangs on his forehead. If Lin Yan was here, he would be very familiar with this guy. He is the 6th universe Saiyan Gabe who will follow Champa to participate in the 6th universe and 7th universe earth battle and tournament of power. At this moment, Gabe frowned tightly, seeming a little surprised. How? Dot how is it possible, Khalifla and Kale are much stronger than those guys? Gabe said in disbelief. Those universe invaders, although they can be regarded as having some strength, even among their Lay's elite guards, there are very few people who are their opponents. But Khalifla and Kale are almost as strong as themselves, and it is absolutely impossible to lose to those guys. The only possibility is. Those guys must have used some shady means. Or, there is some great big shot behind him. Captain Gabe, then, do we need to ask Captain Frost for help? The big man behind Gabe asked Gabe. Although Khalifla and Kale are female Saiyans, they are notoriously strong on their planet Shirata. He can completely compete with Captain Gabe in front of him, and even they are defeated, so those universe villains must be quite tricky. Even if Captain Gabe made a shot, he might not be able to win them. Captain Frost. When he mumbled the name Frost, there was a look of respect in Gabe's eyes. Everyone in this universe knows that the name Forte Ross is the embodiment of justice and peace. Punish rape and eradicate evil, and uphold justice. Wherever there is evil and aggression, there is Captain Frost. Moreover, Captain Frost has always been his idol. Although it's not good to alarm Captain Forte Ross because of such a small matter, the strength of those guys is unknown now, and it is related to the safety of the entire planet Sharada. Anyway, let Captain Forte Ross be informed. Gabe gritted his teeth and said hesitantly. Hey, what are you afraid of? Doesn't Captain Foster like to do this kind of work of supporting justice, punishing evil and promoting good? The big man smiled and said casually. Zalu, watch your words. Gabe turned his head suddenly, and said to the big guy with a look in his eyes. Yes, yes, Captain Gabe. Looking at Gabe's serious gaze, Zalu quickly stopped talking. He naturally knew that Captain Gabe admired Frost very much. At this time, above the planet Sharada, there is a huge spaceship of the universe hovering. Lord for Ross, Saiyan Gabe from planet Sharada has sent a distress signal. In the universe spaceship, the universe man who is qualified to pilot the universe spaceship turned his head and said to Frost behind him. Oh. Didn't you expect that group of Saiyans to be unable to hold on so soon? A long arc was drawn at the corner of Frost's mouth, and a gloomy look flashed in his eyes. Then, it's time to receive the fruits of victory. Then, 
Frost led his peacekeeping force into the planet Sharada. Russell. Just a few minutes later, a huge universe ship hovered over Gabe and Zulu and several other Saiyans. It's the universe spaceship of the peacekeeping force. I didn't expect Captain Foster to come to support us so soon. It's great. The Saiyans behind Gabe looked up at the huge universe spaceship above them and said excitedly. The peacekeeping force led by Captain Frost is well known throughout the universe. Wherever there is war, or where there is an evil gang of bandits, you will definitely see Captain Frost and his peacekeeping force. It is precisely because of this great achievement that Captain Foster has won the Universe Peace Prize three times in a row. They are almost everyone's heroes, and their Saiyan is no exception. Why so fast? Looking at the excited crowd, Gabe didn't seem as excited as he imagined. He should be very happy to see his idol for Ross. However, it took only a few minutes for his own distress signal to inform Captain Frost, and he had already appeared on the planet Sharada. Could it be that Captain Frost already knew that the planet Sharada was under attack? Or maybe they're on another mission nearby? Or? Gabe shook his head, forcing himself not to think about such things anymore. At this time, the spaceship universe landed directly behind Gabe, Zalu and the others. The guy who came out first had the skin of white and Qian blew all over his body, his head looked like he was wearing a helmet, and there were two pointed tentacles on both sides. If Lin Yan sees him, he will be very familiar, this guy looks exactly like Frieza from the 7th universe. Scarlet pupils, with a warm smile on his face. Hey, Captain Gabe, long time no see. When Frost saw Gabe, his face was full of smiles, as if seeing an old friend who hadn't seen him for many years. He extended his palm to Gabe intimately. In his mind, he was thinking about other things. This planet is really nice. If it is developed, it will definitely sell for a good price. Single quote. Thinking that he could make a lot of money soon, the smile on for Ross's face became even brighter. F. Captain Frost, I'm really sorry to bother you with such a trivial matter. Seeing the idol he admired again, Gabe was still a little excited, and said nervously. The first time I met Captain Frost, I went on a mission with him to eliminate a group of universe pirates. But at that time, both of them had tasks to do, so they didn't talk about it. This time, I can finally communicate with my idol face to face. The little suspicion that appeared in my heart just now collapsed instantly when I saw the harmless smiling face of Foster. What did Brother Gabe say? The main duty of our peacekeeping force is to punish rape and eradicate evil. It is my honor to be able to help you. Frost put his right hand in front of his chest, and said with a reverent expression. At this time, I put my posture very low, and no one who looked at it would be able to connect the Frost in front of me with the universe-level villain who resells the planet. Hey hey. Hearing Frost's kind words, Gabe scratched his head in embarrassment, not knowing how to thank Frost. And at this moment, suddenly a large group of universe people came in the air and appeared in front of Gabe and Forst. There are about 20 or 30 people here, and all of them are of good strength. Although there is no way to compare with Gabe, but compared to Zulu, it is still much stronger. That's, that's someone from the peacekeeping force. Suddenly, among the group of universe people who just appeared, a sharp-eyed guy recognized Frost and his, peacekeeping force. Now, what should we do now? After hearing the words of the peacekeeping force, the rest of the people panicked instantly, with timid expressions on their faces. In the entire universe, who knows the, hateful, for Ross and his, peacekeeping force. It seems that we can only withdraw now. It is not a wise choice to fight against the peacekeeping force of Frost for the sake of a planet Sharada. One of the leaders spoke. However, in his eyes, there flashed an evil look of a successful plot, and he secretly thought. Since Master Feroz is here, then the planet Sharada is already in his pocket, and I should retire as well. Single quote. The leader of the universe thought for a while, and then led the other universe people to retreat back in a swarm. And Khalifla and Kale were left in a coma. After the group of, universe robbers, left the planet Sharada, in a universe spaceship, there were more than 20 figures lying on the ground. They were the ones who attacked the planet Sharada and defeated Khalifla. It's just that there are two people standing in the middle of the messy corpses, and the leading universe man just now is among them. Ha ha ha, these poisonous needles of Mr. Ross are really useful. 
I didn't expect that even the mighty Saiyan can make them lose consciousness in an instant. The leading universe man looked at the poisonous needle hidden in his arm, showed a devilish smile, and said in a sinister manner. If it weren't for this thing, it would be really difficult to deal with those tough Saiyans. Master Bit, what should we do next? Another universe man beside him looked at the leading universe man and asked. What's next? Naturally, I'm going to clean up the mess. The corner of Bit's mouth curled into a sinister arc, and he spoke lightly. What universe robbers, what peacekeeping forces, not all of them are all a one-man show directed and performed by Master Four Ross. No one could have imagined that the so-called universe bandits who attacked other planets would be the confidants of Lord Foros. After they killed most of the residents, Lord Foros would bring the peacekeeping force to kill those temporary cannon fodder. Then rebuild the almost abandoned planet and sell it at a high price. Over time, not only did Master Ford get a lot of treasures, but his reputation as a hero of the universe was also thoroughly spread in the universe. To be honest, he still admires the business acumen of Mr. Ford Ross. Afterwards, the two of them drove the universe spaceship again and quietly returned to the planet Sharada. They actually retreated. At this time, Gabe watched those universe robbers run away when they saw for Ross. This made him a little surprised, but also a little puzzled. Although Captain Frost has a great reputation in the universe, his strength should be about the same as theirs. Since they were able to defeat Khalifla and Kale at will, they shouldn't run away as soon as they see Foster. The longer Gabe grew, the more something felt wrong. There is always a very dangerous feeling lingering in my heart. And there was that sense of danger, as if he was very close to him. What's the matter, brother Gabe, what are you thinking? Seemingly seeing what Gabe was thinking, a stern look flashed in the eyes of Frost beside him, and his right hand suddenly rested on Gabe's shoulder. It looked like he wanted to care about Gabe, but no one noticed that an imperceptible sharp needle suddenly appeared on the right side of Frost's wrist, exuding a breathtaking coldness. At this moment, Frost suddenly revealed a creepy smile, as long as the sharp needle on his wrist touches Gabe, this planet is his own. Once Gabe and the two female Saiyans died, it would be impossible for anyone on the planet Sharada to fight against him. This planet will soon be our own. With this in mind, Frost's arm moved closer to Gabe's neck. But at this moment, brush, suddenly, a clear piercing sound came, interrupting Frost's plan. Then a figure appeared in front of the two of them. The person who appeared in front of him was tall and burly, with his back to the two of them, and a brown tail behind him, swaying flexibly. It seemed that his right hand was pointing between his brows, and he was still muttering to himself. I don't know where this appeared again. And the tall and burly man who appeared in front of him was none other than Lin Yan. It has been two and a half years, and he has been wandering on the edge of the seventh universe for two and a half years. After learning the instant transmission from the planet Delit, he has been sensing the breath on the edge of the seventh universe. Then he performed instant transmission. He didn't know how many times he failed, and each time he appeared on other planets in the seventh universe. Not long ago, he suddenly felt two very weak auras, and then directly following these two faint auras, instant transmission came over. This time, where did instant transmission go again? After seeing Lin Yan's appearance, Frost and Gabe's faces were full of surprises. Nah, Nani, who is this guy? Why did he suddenly appear on the planet Sharada? Looking at the burly man in front of him, Gabe instantly became vigilant. He didn't feel any aura and energy fluctuations just now, this guy just appeared in front of them out of thin air like a ghost. What? What's going on? Is he also with the group of universe robbers? Look at that strange appearance, it seems to be a bit like it. For a while, Saiyan behind Gabe was in an uproar, discussing in a low voice. And Frost's gaze was extremely gloomy. This hateful guy unexpectedly appeared at this time, which made Gabe more vigilant. You can't forgive him for messing up your plan. You, who the hell are you? At this time, Gabe gritted his teeth and asked suddenly. Because he felt a very dangerous feeling in the body of the person in front of him. Hearing the vigilant inquiry and discussion of several people behind him, he slowly pretended to move over. The reason why he turned his back on Gabe and the others was not because he was being handsome, but because he had failed hundreds of times, and his heart couldn't bear the blow in his heart. Frieza. Dot not right. 
Lin Yan turned his head, and the moment he saw a few people, his face was filled with excitement. It's Frost and Gabe from the Sixth Universe. This is me, I'm finally in the Sixth Universe. Lin Yan was extremely excited. After working hard for two and a half years, he failed hundreds of times in instant transmission, and finally. Finally, the king paid off, and let him come to the Sixth Universe. Who the hell are you? Gabe frowned, stared at Lin Yan again and asked. It's a pleasure to meet you. Saiyan of the Sixth Universe, Gabe, and you, Lord Frost. Lin Yan walked up to the two of them step by step, and looked at them with a smile on his face. The Sixth Saiyan of Universe is really weak. It feels like a wind can break a bone. Frost looks exactly the same as Frieza, the only difference is that one is a villain and the other is a hypocrite. Nah, Nani, how do you know my name? Gabe was startled, he didn't know him, and he had never seen him at all. Brother Gabe, I've seen this guy before when he was on a mission on Planet Egg Jam. He is the leader of the universe pirates, but it's a pity that he was not caught and let him run away. It seems that those universe robbers attacked the planet Sharada this time, must have been planned by the people in front of them. Quote. Frost pointed at Lin Yan, and said to Gabe with an awe-inspiring and righteous indignation. So that's the case, then the dangerous feeling just now must have come from him. Gabe suddenly remembered the dangerous feeling just now, it should be from the person in front of him. Because he would believe what Frost said without even thinking about it. At this moment, Lin Yan is a heinous villain in Gabe's eyes. Frost, you really know how to squirt blood. With such superb acting skills, if you don't become an actor, are you really a bit inferior? Hearing Frost's outspoken nonsense and impeccable acting skills, Lin Yan pursed his lips and said lightly. Frost, others don't know who you are, but I know you like the back of my hand. Touch your wrist. If it wasn't for my sudden appearance just now, that brat Gabe would have died in your hands long ago, right? Quote. After hearing Lin Yan's words, Frost's expression changed, he was a little surprised that this guy actually knew his plan just now. And knowing the poisonous needle on his wrist. That means that he is not just talking about it, but really knows something about himself. Who the hell is this guy? Immediately, Frost's eyes were covered with a layer of resentment, no matter who he is, since he knows his secret, he must not keep it. Oh, brother Gabe should know what kind of person I am. However, Frost did not panic at all. The heroic image he has accumulated over the years is not comparable to a cat or a dog who suddenly appeared. That's right, Captain Frost is the hero of our universe, don't even think about spitting blood. Gabe also accused Lin Yan with a righteous face. After all, it's too easy to choose between the great hero Forte Ross and a stranger. You really don't have a brain. No wonder you are being manipulated by others. It is a miracle that you can survive under the noses of Foster until now. Lin Yan looked at Gabe and said contemptuously. I don't know if it's because Frost's acting skills are too good, or these people in the sixth universe are too stupid. Brother Gabe, for this kind of universe thug, don't talk nonsense with him, let's take him down together. Frost said to Gabe with a righteous face. But I thought in my heart that I would find an opportunity to eradicate the two of them together, and the guy who knew his secret must not stay. Um. Gabe looked determined, nodded, and made an attacking posture. Although you don't have anything I'm interested in, but you're new here, let's make a stand with you first. Lin Yan smiled coldly and said. For Ross and Gabe, whether it is combat power, combat talent or skills, there is nothing they want to copy. Cut, you brazen villain, let's get caught. As Frost's sharp voice fell, his body exploded out. Gabe also flashed his body and followed closely. Swipe. Frost and Gabe are very fast. After all, they are the best players in the sixth universe. Without a little strength, it is impossible to represent the sixth universe to participate in the tournament of power organized by Zeno. There was only a short distance of two feet between the two of them and Lin Yan, and they appeared beside Lin Yan almost instantly. Good, so fast. Captain Gabe, Captain Frost, come on, teach that, universe villain a good lesson. Some other Saiyans behind Gabe, after a brief shock, started to cheer for the two. From just now, Lin Yan has been labeled as a cosmic villain by them. This kind of universe villain, everyone can punish it. Shish. The moment Gabe and Frost appeared in front of Lin Yan, 
the shadows of their fists howled and launched a storm-like attack on Lin Yan. It's so slow. With a slight twist of Lin Yan's body, he dodged all the attacks of the two. It's easy at all, without the slightest threat. In fact, with this kind of attack, even if Lin Yan stood up and asked them to fight, they couldn't hurt themselves. But, dot how can this guy be so strong? In one minute, Gabe and Frost had punched hundreds of times, but they didn't hit Lin Yan with a single punch, not even the hem of his clothes. While they were astonished, their brows were tightly wrinkled. I didn't expect this, universe villain, to be so powerful, no wonder even Captain Foster couldn't catch him. Gabe thought in shock, and the sixth universe Saiyan, who was cheering and cheering, gradually became quieter, and finally held his breath directly, with a nervous expression on his face. Obviously, I didn't expect this universe villain to be so terrifying in strength. Under the joint attack of Captain Gabe and Captain Forte Ross, he could still appear so convincing. Easily dodge all the attacks of the two of them. Kianchi, who the hell is this who is so difficult to deal with? And at this moment, Frost's eyes became completely gloomy, and he thought in horror. He didn't expect this kind of guy to exist in this universe. You are really too weak, I can't arouse any interest. Lin Yan easily dodged all the attacks of the two, while shaking his head and said disdainfully. Stop looking down on people, ah. He had never been so humiliated before, Frost couldn't control his temper for a moment, and after screaming sharply, his fist shot towards Lin Yan like an arrow off the string. It was only the next moment that Lin Yan grabbed it directly. And Lin Yan's body, like a rock, didn't move at all. So what if I look down on you? You trash. Lin Yan directly grasped Fo Ross's fist, and then slammed Fo Ross into the ground with a circular motion. The hard ground was smashed and cracked. Immediately afterwards, Lin Yan kicked out, directly kicking the ground out of a gully, and finally landed heavily on Fo Ross's mouth with his toe. Frost's body flew upside down, and a mouthful of purple liquid spit out from his mouth. The face is distorted, obviously suffering from great pain. Captain Frost. Gabe was shocked, he didn't expect this guy to directly injure Captain Frost as soon as he made a move, isn't this a bit too scary? But after a moment of shock, he rushed towards Lin Yan again. After a burst of shouting, Lin Yan slapped Gabe directly. Gabe was directly sent flying by an invisible force, and smashed heavily in front of the other Saiyans. Gritting his teeth, he stood up again. Then he spat out a mouthful of blood, and his complexion turned pale instantly. In a hurry, the body fell to the ground again. Yes, Captain, are you okay? Zalu quickly helped Gabe up. So, is that guy a monster? Captain Gabe and Captain Frost, the strongest in the universe, were defeated so easily by him. Is our planet Sharada really going to be destroyed? For a moment, all the Saiyans were terrified and muttered to themselves in a desperate tone. If even Captain Gabe and Captain Frost are defeated by him, who else can save them? That guy, is really too strong, if he wants to kill me, it only takes a moment. Gabe clutched his chest and said in a weak tone, he was very sure of this. I must make you pay a heavy price. Frost was roaring crazily in his heart, but in front of so many Saiyans, he couldn't show it well. After all, he is the hero of the universe wearing a veil of justice. He clenched his fists tightly, and there was a rash of cold light in his eyes. Whoa, whoa. At this moment, a sharp cry roared out from Frost's throat. A powerful breath came out, and Frost's body was wrapped in a mass of purple flames. And his body also began to change. That, that is, Captain Frost is ready to transform into an assault form. When he saw the purple light ball, a Hey Asian man suddenly shouted excitedly. During another mission, he was fortunate enough to see Captain Frost's assault form, and his strength almost doubled. After transforming, the enemies who were able to contend with him before were instantly subdued. It can be seen how terrifying Captain Frost's assault form is. After just a few seconds, Frost's body appeared in everyone's sight. At this time, Frost's shape was exactly the same as Frieza's main form. I didn't want to change into this form at first, but in order to subdue you, the universe villain, I can only. The corner of Frost's mouth raised, and he was about to speak proudly, but before he finished speaking, Lin Yan's body disappeared in place in an instant. When it appeared, it was already behind Frost. I hate you the most righteous, sanctimonious trash. 
A faint voice sounded from behind, and Frost suddenly felt a chill down his back. Lin Yan's fist has already slammed on Foster's back unceremoniously. Then, it hit the ground heavily, and a huge deep pit suddenly appeared on the ground. Without any hesitation, Lin Yan pointed his fingertips directly at Frost, and a beam of energy penetrated Frost's chest in an instant. After killing Frost in an instant, Lin Yan said disdainfully, if you want to keep your strength, then keep it in your body forever. He knows that Frost has an ultimate transformation. Although even if he becomes the ultimate form, he still cannot escape the fate of being killed by himself. Hypocrites are often more repulsive than real villains. This is the reason why I would kill Foster in the universe. Nah, Nani, you actually killed Captain Frost. Gabe's pupils constricted instantly, his body trembled uncontrollably, and he looked at Lin Yan as if he were looking at a demon. Captain Frost is such a good person. This hero of the universe was killed by this kind of demon. Absolutely. I will never forgive you. Gabe's face was instantly filled with anger, his body flashed, and he attacked Lin Yan. White's arrogance poured out, and Yao was around. At this moment, although Gabe was injured, his anger was much stronger than before. It seemed that his anger had stimulated the potential in his body. Cut, stupid guy. Lin Yan let out a cold snort, Frost had deceived them for so many years, yet he didn't feel anything at all, and even treated him as a hero. 297. It's really lucky that this kind of idiot can survive till now. The moment Gabe's imposing fist attacked Lin Yan, Lin Yan grabbed it directly. In an instant, no matter how hard Gabe tried, he couldn't break free from Lin Yan's control, like a chicken whose neck was pinched, completely losing the ability to struggle. And at this moment, a few lines of small words, blue, suddenly appeared on Lin Yan's retina. Copy object, Gabe, sixth universe. Copyable skills, key blast, afterburner, protector. Do you want to copy? Cut, what rubbish, don't copy. Lin Yan glanced at it and directly vetoed it. Sure enough, a common saying like Gabe has nothing worth copying. Ling. Then Lin Yan directly used his right hand to throw Gabe's body out, and hit the rock not far away heavily, and the rock shattered instantly. Gabe has a painful expression on his face. And at this moment, Khalifla and Kale, who had been lying quietly not far away, suddenly moved. Because Frost's poisonous needle, although it can temporarily stun people, has no other substantial damage. Once the toxicity is over, the two of them will wake up by themselves. Certainly, dare to use that kind of dirty trick on my old lady, I will never forgive you. Ten seconds later, Khalifla sat up, with an angry expression on her face, shaking her dizzy head, cursing carelessly. And Kair on the side also woke up at this time. Sister, sister, what happened to us just now? Kale looked at Khalifla with a timid expression, and asked in a mosquito-like voice. Schemed by those fools, thinking of those guys defeating her with dirty tricks, Khalifla became furious. And just when the two were doing it, Gabe, Zalu and other Saiyans also found that the two had awakened. Khalifla and Kale, are they both okay? Both Gabe and Zalu opened their mouths in surprise. It seemed that they were not injured except that they had just passed out. Khalifla. At this time, Gabe hurriedly called out. Now that Khalifla and Kale have woken up, if the three Saiyans attack together, they will have a little more chance of defeating the demon. Ah, Gabe, what's the matter with you? Following Gabe's voice, he saw Gabe lying in the rubble. Looking at the embarrassed Gabe, Khalifla spoke in surprise. Could it be that Gabe was also tricked by those guys? Sister, sister, over there. At this time, Kale suddenly pulled Khalifla's arm and cast his gaze on Lin Yan. Khalifla also forgot her gaze, and the moment she saw Lin Yan, a curious look appeared on her face. Huh, who's that guy, is his tail real? Khalifla spoke in surprise, seeing a human with a tail for the first time. But looking at the burly appearance, it seems that the strength is quite strong. C.A. Khalifla, that guy is in the same group as those robbers just now, and he is very powerful. Looking at Khalifla, who looked excited and curious, Gabe quickly reminded her. And, even Captain Frost was killed by him. Then, Gabe said with some heartache. As soon as he remembered that demon killed Frost just now, his anger surged uncontrollably. It's that I don't have the strength to defeat him. It's really a very aggrieved and helpless feeling. Ah, 
That guy for Ross is dead. That's really great, I can't get used to that hypocritical guy for a long time. Khalifla was surprised at first, then said nonchalantly. That Frost with a fake smile on his face all day long, for some reason is very annoying to her. But if you hate it, you hate it, but that guy's strength is still quite strong. Is that the sixth universe the legendary Super Saiyan Kale? It's really hard to find, it's easy to get here. From the very beginning, Lin Yan set his sights on Kair, with black shiny hair tied into a ponytail, wearing a red short skirt, and black leggings. His eyes drooped, and he looked a little timid. It is almost exactly the same as in, Dragon Ball Super, but it looks a little immature. After all, it will take nearly 10 years before the start of the Tournament of Power, so they naturally look a little younger. However, what Lin Yan is talking about is not Kale's appearance and age, but his potential, which can become the legendary Super Saiyan's potential. But for the current Kale, if he wants to become the legendary Super Saiyan, it may be a bit difficult. She must be stimulated, and she can only transform when she is extremely angry. Hey, that guy with the long tail, your 5.3 companion just used dirty tricks on me and Kale, and I'm full of anger now, so I can only vent to you. While Lin Yan was observing Kale, Khalifla suddenly pointed at Lin Yan and said to Lin Yan with a displeased face. Only by giving this guy a good beating can he eliminate the anger in his heart. The moment Khalifla's voice fell, Lin Yan looked at Khalifla with cold eyes, and then his body disappeared from everyone's sight like a ghost. Didn't your mother teach you to be polite when talking to other people? Suddenly, a cold voice sounded from behind. Khalifla's body trembled, her face full of horror. Then, that guy, when did he appear behind me? Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.